Adaptations How plants survive Hi! Good morning, friends! We all know our earth is very big and it has different areas like forest, plain, water, desert, sea coast, etc. Wherever we go, we will find different types of plants and animals. For example, the plants found in the deserts are different from those found in the mountains. Do you know why? Do you know how these plants survive in the extreme climatic conditions? Come on, let's see this in our science class. Okay, children, have you ever been to a hill station? Yes, ma'am. I went with my parents to Uti last vacation. Okay. Any other place? Ma'am, I had been to Rajasthan. Good. You might have seen the plants there. Do they look like the plants that we see here? No, ma'am. They are not. Yes, they differ according to the place they grow in. Types of plants Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Plants growing in water are called aquatic plants. Adaptations Plants growing in different conditions have special features. These features help them to survive in their natural climatic conditions. These features are developed in them over a very, very long period of time. This is called adaptation. Terrestrial plants On land, there are mountains, forests, plains and deserts. Some places have heavy rainfall. Some have strong wind. Some have snowfall. Some are very hot and dry. Different types of plants adapt themselves to the natural conditions of their area which help them to survive comfortably. For example, a cactus plant that grows in a desert area cannot grow in the coastal areas. Plants on mountains In the hilly places like Kashmir, Uti and Darjeeling, the trees are cone-shaped tall and straight so that the snow can easily slide off. Instead of flowers, they have cones with seeds inside them. The leaves are needle-like with tough and waxy coating to survive the snow and cold. For example, pine, fir, cedar, etc. Some plants and trees shed their leaves in winter to protect themselves from cold. For example, oak, maple and peach. Plants in Plains On the plains, there are a variety of plants. They generally have several branches and leaves. To protect themselves from cold, they shed their leaves in autumn. Some examples are neem, peepal, gulmohar, sal, etc. Plants in Deserts in deserts, there is very little rainfall. Climate is very hot and soil is sandy. Yet, some plants like cactus and date palms have adapted themselves to survive in these conditions. The adaptations in cactus. They have no leaves to avoid the loss of water. Their stems are green and food is manufactured here by photosynthesis. There are no branches but thorns to avoid eaten up by animals. Water is stored in the fleshy stems. Plants in areas of heavy rainfall. In these areas, we see a sharp contrast because water is abundant. Trees have lot of leaves. They remain green throughout the year, hence are called evergreen trees. Example, rubber, Cashew nut, pepper, teak, cotton, sugarcane, etc. Plants in swampy areas. The regions where the soil is clay, the water do not drain away. They are called swampy or marshy areas.
the roots of the plant that grow here do not get air in the soil so they have adapted themselves accordingly the roots that grows outside the soil takes the air they need for example mangroves plants on sea coast we can see lot of coconut palm along the coastal areas they have adapted themselves to withstand the strong winds salty water and heavy rainfall the seeds of such plants spread by sea water non green plants some non green plants like mushrooms and fungus do not contain chlorophyll so they cannot manufacture their own food by photosynthesis they absorb food from other plants and animals example fungus grows on other plants dead animals or on stale food and get their food so they are called parasitic plants insectivorous plants some plants grow in soil that is poor in minerals to supplement the need of minerals they have adaptations that help them to trap the insects coming on them for nectar and eat them they are called insectivorous plants for example venus flytrap and pitcher plant aquatic plants Aquatic plants are plants that grow in water. Can anyone give an example? Lotus and water lily. Very good. The aquatic plants are of three kinds: floating plants, fixed plants, underwater plants. Floating plants like duckweed and water hyacinth have light and spongy stems that help them to float on water. Some plants have roots that are fixed in the mud at the bottom of the pond. They are called fixed plants. Examples are lotus and water lily. The adaptations are the stems are thin, long and hollow. Leaves are broad and flat that keeps them afloat. Waxy coating is found on the leaf surface. Stomata are on the upper surface. underwater plants some plants are completely submerged under the water for example hydrilla tape grass and pond weed the adaptations are the stems are floatable and light the stems are flexible and light no stomata on leaves leaves are narrow and thin useful plants plants give us food but it is also useful to us in many other ways almost everything we use in our daily life are made from plants or their products tell me some things that we get from plants fruits and vegetables rice wheat jowar bajra things made from wood like table and chair Clothes made from plant fabrics like cotton and jute. Very good. I will tell you some more things. Oils, sugar, cereals, pulses, nuts, spices, tea, coffee, cocoa beans, etc. Medicines are taken from plants like eucalyptus, neem, cinchona, etc. clothes carpets sacks from plant fibers like cotton and jute furniture doors windows etc these are obtained from the woods of teak sal etc paper from bamboo plants rubber for tires from rubber plant coconut oil coconut water fruit from coconut plant gums from the juice of acacia soaps and shampoos from vegetable oils obtained from plants